r slash off my chest. Accurate dirt 6972 says. Husband ruined my era's tour experience. Few weeks back I attended the era's tour with my husband. My original plan was to go with friends who old appreciated the tour more. My husband initially said that concerts are a waste of time and money and he had no interest in going, but at the last minute, insisted that he wanted to go with me. So I bought us both tickets. A few days before the actual concert, he won't let me get excited about it. I wanted to go all out and dress up, get friendship bracelets. He wasn't supportive of this, and even told me to keep quiet, while I was excitedly shopping at the mall, and said I was embarrassing. Him. I ended up wearing nothing sparkly, and didn't have a single bracelet. On the actual concert day, he threw a tantrum at home and in public. There was a lot of shouting. I told him I refused to go with him anymore in case he ruined the experience. That made him even more angry, and he started giving me all sorts of threats. For my safety, I ended up going with him. I was determined to enjoy the concert despite not dressing up, not making bracelets, not exchanging bracelets, not taking photos or videos, not have anyone to sing the songs with. But that was ruined again, because he kept making negative comments. On how the Swifties were dressing up, especially male Swifties. He reacted angrily, after I reminded him not to be judgmental and to let people have fun. Few days later, I decided to redeem my era's tour experience one last time, by buying some merch for memories. I informed my husband so head no. The queue took hours, commute home was terrible, because of traffic and I ended up reaching home really late. Throughout the entire time I sent him photos, to update him about my whereabouts. I got us both dinner, since there was no time to cook. Once I reached home, he snatched the food and grilly, asked why I took so long to reach home. I explained the situation, and he kept accusing me of lying. He insisted I reached home late, because I was going out and having fun. We argued so long, all the way until 4am, because I was trying to prove my innocence. I waited 18 years to be able to afford and experience my first TS concert. I can't even recall the actual concert experience anymore because it's tainted by all the arguments. This is not the first time he tried to ruin a fun experience for me. He has done this during vacations, during the Barbie movie, during big celebratory moments for me. I'm so exhausted of having happy memories ruined. Stan Kla says. For my safety, I ended up going with him. So he threatened violence? If that's what you are saying, it's time to leave this fool. Interesting Sock 9142 says. Okay so I'm not the only one who read it like that, the... Frick. Georgian Stern 8 says. There's no real other way to read it it's... Frick, head all the way down. Budget way for 382 says. My husband initially said that concerts are a waste of time and money, and he had no interest in going I vowed never to go to a concert with someone, unless they were a true fan or a boyfriend, had too many concerts ruined by ex-boyfriends. Based off the entire post, he went to monitor you. Last minute insisted that he wanted to go with me controlling and monitoring, he wouldn't let me get excited about it. Controlling told me to keep quiet while I was excitedly shopping at the mall and said I was embarrassing him. Controlling and selfish, on the actual concert day, he threw a tantrum at home and in public. Emotionally stunted, controlling and manipulative, he started giving me all sorts of threats. For my safety, I ended up going with him. Threats of violence or abuse, he reacted angrily after I reminded him not to be judgmental and to let people have fun. Emotionally immature, photos to update him about my whereabouts controlling, that he needs evidence and updates in your whereabouts, not out of love, but out of wanting to control you, I got us both dinner, since there was no time to cook. Are both of his arms broken? This gives me the let me do damage control, by grabbing food to show him you care.
r slash off my chest. TX4 EVR34 says. I just spent my last $20 on a 5 pound bag of dog food. I just spent my last $20 on a 5 pound bag of dog food. Feeling totally shattered. My dog is my entire life, she is my best friend. Even when I've been suicidal, and so depressed I couldn't clean my house I still, made sure I walked her, fed her, bathed her, and gave her the best life I could. Tonight it came down to getting dinner for myself, or buying her dog food, and I bought her the dog food. I feel so sick, that I might not be able to feed her after this bag runs out. I missed her dose of her flea and tick medicine this month, because I couldn't afford it. I feel like the worst, frick, I'm person and so undeserving of being her carriage driver. I found a food pantry, that is close by, that I'm going to visit this week. My car is on E, but I have about $4 in quarters, to use to get gas. I feel embarrassed going in. To paying quarters. Two years ago I was living in a $600,000 house and had a steady income. But an abusive partner, moving, unemployment, and poor financial decisions have all been the result of where I find myself as I write this. I know I could have been smarter and I know what decisions I made that have directly caused my current financial state, so no need to tell me how much I, frick, ed up. I already know. I had a job interview today that felt promising. I've been job hunting since September and haven't found anything steady. It really is brutal out there. I don't need a fancy life, I don't need to travel the world. I just want to feed my dog, feed myself, and have a warm place to sleep at night. Life has never felt more bleak. But, my sweet girl is resting her head on my foot, and at least tonight I get to sleep knowing she'll have food in the morning. Andrew Ahalik says. I cannot help, but for context, include your state as people can then inform you of local charities etc. that can help with food donations, pet food donations or pet care help. Amelia Pontlive says. Check if your local humane society has a pet pantry. I know a lot of them do. I've used it before. Sometimes food pantries, for humans, also get pet food donations, but a dedicated pet pantry might be more ideal. I've been there, when it's been me, my cats, and a can of tuna we all shared. But it got better. I believe it will get better for you too. Future of Visioning says. You are not a, frick, up at all in my mind. The perceived bad decisions you made happened. They were actions, and not an indictment of your character. I've made some stupid financial decisions, that set me back in the past, but I learned from them and moved forward. It sounds like you are doing the same. I admire you for taking care of your dog. You sound like a really decent person. I would love for you to hear that, and remember it please. So glad also to hear about the promising job opportunity. And I get it, it's a brutal economy for everyday people despite what's being reported. I believe in you. I really do. We haven't met, but your story brought tears to my eyes. It's been a challenging week for me, and you made me feel less alone, thank you. I know you aren't asking for help in your post, but if you do want any career advice, if you are in, or pursuing a business type role, you can message me, and I'm happy to give you my point of view. I'm here for you. R slash off my chest. Bkuhoop says. My second grader has received death threats. My child is an only child, and is almost too nice for her own good. She is a very sweet and respectful kiddo. Anywhere I go, I get comments on how well mannered she is. She's the best. That being said, I can't make sense of why she has received two death threats from children in her grade this year. 2021, a boy, let's call him Ralph, had a crush on my kiddo and his mom let him gift my child flowers, jewelry and a barbie. They were kindergartners, and while I found it strange, I didn't think too much of it. 
A month later my child informed me that Ralph had pulled her shirt down in class and had touched her bud in line. It was addressed with the principal and the child received some sort of discipline. After that, Ralph has always been so mean to my child. A few months after that, he told my child he was going to bring a gun to school and shoot her in the face and then kill her parents. He received us. My child was offered to speak with the school counselor, but I wanna say they only spoke with her once. The principal also told me that Ralph and her would not be in the same class for first grade. 2022, no issues in first grade. Present day now that they are in second grade, Ralph told my child at lunch that he was going to bring a gun and shoot her. Other children at the table confirmed this. He received three days of OS. When speaking with the principal, I asked at what point can Ralph be kicked out of school for these death threats. He told me, and had a school officer call to also tell me, that if the child is under the age of 10, nothing can be done. They cannot just kick him out, regardless of how many threats he makes. Until he's 10. Just last week I received a call from the vice principal. My child was being chased at recess by a little girl, whom she is not friends with, but not enemies with either, that was threatening to kill her. Another child reported it to the teacher and they were able to grab the girl and bring her to the principal's office, where she had to apologize to my child. Again, they offered my child to talk to the counselor if she needs. My girl has always loved school, but recently has been begging me to be home shoaled. My heart breaks for her. These children are so young, and I'm afraid that my child is going to be numb to the idea of someone threatening to harm her. I don't know what to do. I'm begging y'all, please please give me advice on how you think I should handle all of this. Old Assistance 2017 says. My god a kindergartner threatened gun violence? FFS that kid needs an intervention before he actually does something for real. Did you talk to Ralph's parents at all about why he wants to kill your daughter, especially if the school is unwilling to help you? I'm assuming he was like 5 years old at the first occurrence that's way way I, I too young, and he needs help. Baku Hoop says. I made small talk with his mother at morning drop off, field trips, birthdays. I know she's a single mom to 4 children and the child's father has been in and out of jail for domestic violence, breaking protection order, etc. Which more than likely plays a huge role is why he is the way he is. I had told her about him touching my daughter inappropriately, and she was shocked and reassured me she would do something and apologized. After that, we never spoke again, and she even stopped going to drop-offs and field trips. She bought him a PS4 with shooting slash mature related games for Christmas in kindergarten. Which also, probably, contributed to him being this way so ultimately, I do not think I would get anywhere speaking with her either. Kira Kirilauda Milk says. Sounds like it's time to homeschool or change school systems. If you're dissatisfied with the school's approach to the situation, I would go public with your concerns. Just do something before the whole thing ends up on the news please. I went to Catholic school for two years, kindergarten and first grade. I was horribly bullied, like beaten by multiple kids in the corner of the schoolyard bullied. I begged my parents to put me in public school, like begged. They did and I ended up being much happier, and the extreme bullying stopped. I can say with absolute confidence that if my parents hadn't listened to me, I would have ended up with a traumatic brain injury from how much I was getting punched and kicked on the playground, or the experience would have permanently altered my personality. Listen to your kid. Take them out of this school while you still have the chance. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.